The gnome, as the Q of Q series then arises in the theory of affine Lie algebras, essentially because to put it poetically, but not factually, those algebras describe the symmetries and isometries of Riemann surfaces. The gnome, as the Q of Q series then arises in the theory of affine Lie algebras, essentially because to put it poetically, but not factually, those algebras describe the symmetries and isometries of Riemann surfaces. The gnome, as the Q of Q series then arises in the theory of affine Lie algebras, essentially because to put it poetically, but not factually, those algebras describe the symmetries and isometries of Riemann surfaces. The gnome, as the Q of Q series then arises in the theory of affine Lie algebras, essentially because to put it poetically, but not factually, those algebras describe the symmetries and isometries of Riemann surfaces. The gnome, as the Q of Q series then arises in the theory of affine Lie algebras, essentially because to put it poetically, but not factually, those algebras describe the symmetries and isometries of Riemann surfaces.